everyone Hi. welcome back to my channel and for today's video i have my husband again with me this is chris if you haven't met him formally and for today's video we are going to do something exciting we're going to be doing a test test a test test taste test a taste test i'm all over the place this weekend guys um we're going to be trying tiger bites but we're going to be trying the sauces that tiger bites has for their dips and yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started let me see if i can do a quick turnover for you guys and just show you kind of our layout so far okay so these are our plates we got six pieces each because there are supposed to be 12 dips we accidentally got two of the same so we're missing one so it's not going to be super i mean it's not going to be all of the sauces but it'll still be the sauces we have them arranged from least spicy to what we think will be the spiciest. We're going to be ending with mango habanero. So we're going to see how this goes. All right. Now that we have shown you guys that, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, we ordered a lot of chicken, but we're going to be doing six pieces each because it just makes better sense to do one side of the chicken with one dip and then go to the next with the other dip. Um, I feel like there was something else that I was going to tell you guys, and I am spacing on what that is. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And we're going to go start off with the ranch. Yeah. Also, we have milk with us because some of these are looking to be really spicy, and I don't really do spice. I Chance I might throw up in this video. We'll see. Aim that way, please. <laughs> All right. Let's begin. Let's start with the ranch. All right. Dip. And obviously, this will be not be a perfect taste test because there is different ratios of black pepper in each chicken. This is the black pepper chicken, yes. by the way. Yes, thank you for reminding me because that's what I was going to say. So Tiger Bites actually has three different types of seasonings. We always stick with the uh, garlic. No, it's not really garlic parm. The black pepper. Sorry, I confused it with mm. the sauce. The black pepper. They have two others. So if you guys like this one, we might do another taste test with the other seasonings and actually get auto sauces. <laughs> All right. You go first. Or and at the same ranch, time? Same time. Always same time. Mm -hmm. I, I will say the ranch one is the only one that doesn't come in like a container. Mm -hmm. I don't know if these if they make these every day. Um what they do with these but ranch is the only one that doesn't they probably get sent them frozen thaw them out but yeah that one's Come definitely on. not one there no. that one they're just getting from another company yeah also we have oh but no i should probably stick to the milk because with how i am milk. with my stomach all right next up is going to be chunky blue cheese mm, 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 mm. she does not like blue cheese in either do uh, no, i no 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 i don't want to <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> there are blue cheese fanatics probably watching if they see this and are going to be like, how dare you? No. Well, you oh. can see the blue cheese there. You see the chunks. I don't know if you can, but like, there's a chunk right there on the tip. I don't want to. <laughs> put it in. Three, two, one. Wasn't that bad? It wasn't, but it tastes like expired milk. Well... Mm. 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 Not expired milk. It tastes like when we get the queso fresco. Mm -hmm. And it sits there. That's what it tastes like. So that's cheese from Mexico. That's not like pasteurized or anything. It's actually made on a farm. When we get it from Mexico, when her family visits, they bring cheese back. So, yeah. That's what it tasted like. So, it wasn't terrible because I'm used to that taste for some of the queso, like for if like my parents would have it. But mm. it's not something that I am super fond of. Right. Next, garlic parm. Oh. As you can see, that one's her favorites. I also got a haircut and a shave this weekend. She got a haircut as well. I got a haircut too. We're really excited. I don't look like a Wookiee, honestly, if I just didn't do anything, all of me would be hair, just fully down the body, and it'd just be one giant Wookiee. And I try not to do that, because I don't think she that wants he, that. he didn't do that. She doesn't want that. This is like a taste test slash mukbang, is what this is. All right, yeah. one, two, three. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. It's good sauce. This chicken, by the way, is terrific. This the black pepper, that's wonderful. Yeah. Would highly suggest Tiger Bites if you're in the mood for chicken. If you have it around your area, we'll search for it. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's an actual. Well, it's not an actual restaurant. Um, I don't even think we've ever really seen the food truck where it's supposed to be. Oh, uh, if there's a food truck, like that's probably a restaurant. It's just it's all delivery through DoorDash or and maybe Grubhub or another. Yeah. I guess, but it's only delivery, which handy this time the last year but it is delicious we found it on a whim and we get it almost weekly but That's right. you guys we get the have... same stuff all the time so yeah. we've never tried a lot of these sauces you guys will have seen this in a vlog i would have talked about it in probably you know other videos we just really really like it mm -hmm. all right what's up Next. orange chicken okay this one's probably not too spicy mm -hmm. At this point, though, I'd assume they start adding spice and a little heat to all of them. I still have the taste of the blue cheese, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No spice yet. Mm -hmm. I like that you actually take a small sip, a half bite of it whereas i have small pieces from the <laughs> she literally does she just breaks it off into tiny pieces because my wife is adorable wow. yeah i am yeah, the little sip we are doing little sips of milk trying to Be clean our mouths up mm -hmm. palate cleansers yep all right bourbon bourbon's up next No, this is what the bourbon is. Okay. Have a kick. Mm hmm A little bit. Not huge, but it's there. It's there. It has a salsa valentina kick. Yeah. Has that level. Like, it's it's a pretty light and manageable one. If you're not a spicy food person, it'd be fine. That would probably be the spices you'd want to go. Mm-hmm. I assume at this point, all the spices get spicier. Just I'm going to have at them. snot coming out of my nose, and it's going to be disgusting. Well, you know, that's what the napkin's for. No, this napkin. Also, I just want to say a quick thing. If you can, get, like, restaurant napkins from Amazon or wherever because these are really useful. We have a 24 pack and we don't use paper towels as much. No. Also, they're super big. Yeah. Like, look at the size of this thing. It's really like a lap napkin, but really handy. I mean, if we want, we could just tuck it in our shirt to be extra fancy. Yeah, I don't know about all. <laughs> no, okay. probably not. All right. We did the bourbon. So Korean barbecue's next. Okay. So you can see the spices in this one. I'm nervous. I'm getting so nervous because I know it's gonna like we're heating up. I'm not nervous until we hit mango habanero. At least it's mango for you. You like mango. I don't even like mango. Mango. <laughs> nope. Healthy dips every time. Just let the burn take hold. No, let's go. Bourbon might have had more of a kick. Mm hmm I don't know. Korean barbecue has a kick starting to come at the after. Yeah. It started out light and it's starting to build. So we'll see how heavy it gets. But that's what the milk's for. My lactate milk, because I am lactose intolerant, so I have no. the special milk. Okay, we are halfway through. Okay, we got this. We, we got definitely this. got this. General, the general, general so. Dip it up. So when we get this, because we will get the 16 pack, we got the 32 back just because if it had gotten our normal, even with mm -hmm. six pieces each, we wouldn't have enough for tomorrow. Um, I get this one and I get the garlic parm are my two that I go with. I always try to eat this one 
uh, chicken with the Genoa style sauce for dinner because of the kick that it has. At least it, it has a kick to me. Like, I know that it's not really super spicy, but to me, it is. And then save the garlic parm for lunch because I work and I don't want to be like... You, you don't want to do that on the call? No. I already do that enough as it is. She does phone IT, basically. Smartphone IT. Uh -oh. Okay. What are you? What are your two that you tend to get? You switch it though. A little bit. I switch it a bit. Um, orange. I get buffalo is my spicy one generally. All right. Okay. Let's do the same. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't actually as spicy. I'd move no. it down the list. It wasn't super spicy today. Compared to bourbon and Korean, I'd move it down the list. So, we'll, if you're wondering at home, we'd put it between bourbon and orange. Maybe bourbon and Korean barbecue, because those two, not sure yet which one I think is mm. spicier. I don't think the Korean was super. No, it wasn't super, but it built afterwards, so it's hard to tell. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to tell if that's uh, just because we're eating so many sauces that eventually it's just gonna build no i can no. definitely feel the heat though in my mouth with these i'm just i don't do spicy so i can just the smallest thing just flares in my mouth all right so this is about when it's gonna get fun <laughs> no now we get to watch her eat buffalo <laughs> no. i'm excited dip it no, in dip I don't it want in to. dip it in there you go the mop I guess that'll work. Excuse you. Excuse me. I apologize. Well, I guess Apparently this can't be me. as bad as mango habanero. No, no, that's it. Only gets worse. <laughs> but here we go. I got a good healthy dip going. Yeah, I'm just trying to get as much, but I've had this but before. as little as possible. I'll allow it. It's a good amount. It's enough. She's gonna feel it. I don't want to. Three, two, one. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. No, hombre. Drink your milk. <coughs> no. You're loving this. I am. You won't be laughing with both of my <laughs> No, I will be, but I'll be crying. I'll laugh. I'll just also cry. At first, to me, it tasted like the marindo, mm -hmm. and then I felt it, and I keep feeling it, and I don't Which like it. Which is funny, because the next one is tamarind chipotle. No, hombre. You want to tell them what tamarind is? Tamarind? It's, um, it's a fruit. Yeah, I'd say it's a fruit. It's a fruit. It's used in a lot of Mexican candy, like if you're having a pelo rico, pulparindo, Basically, anything that's like kind of gummy, it'll be covered in tamarindo, which is how you would say it in Spanish. Um, yeah, kind of okay. would you say spicy? It's it's got a kick, it's got a flavor, mm. it's strong. It depends on what you're using it for. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where it doesn't taste like anything else. I'm gonna go get more milk because I'm scared. So, okay, we're gonna pause this real quick and we're gonna get more milk. All right, okay. we'll be right back. <laughs> All right, we're back. We, I've got more milk. We both got more milk. I'm definitely going to be sniffly snotty <laughs> in these final three. I feel it already. I'm just letting you guys know. I apologize. Um, but now we're doing the oh, no. tamarind chipotle. <laughs> you got this. Do I though? Yes. Eye of the tiger. Wait, we have six pieces, but how did I miscalculate? Because you. Oh, because we're missing one. That's why. <laughs> This is what it looks we're like. missing spicy honey, by the way. I don't know if we said that. So, yeah, that's what we're missing. It's a mild, so I'm not worried about it missing it too much. All right, mm -hmm. three, two, one.
No, it's not spicy. No, it's just smoky tamarind. Huh. That one would jump down the list tremendously. Next time. I thought with the chipotle it would have... Oh, mm -hmm. no, wait. Can you feel it? A little bit, but it's still not compared to the others. I felt it... I felt the kick more with the... Bourbon? With the... With the bourbon, the Korean. but the after one, I felt it more with the Korean yeah. than I did with th this one. Because it's got a bit of an afterburn, but it's real light. So honestly, if you're not a big spice person, it's fine. And it's not bad taste on sauce, honestly. Watch, we say that, but then they make it really spicy that day. And I was like, ah, Chris and Bree told us that it wouldn't be. And we keep reaching out, it's because my dog's down here. She's laying with us. She's you ever hopeful. Dog? Our dog. Our dog. She's wanting some polio. She wants some chicken. No, she can't have any. No. All right. All right. Caribbean. Okay. There we go. Oh, that was a big healthy one for me. Look at oh, that. Oh, yeah. No, it's pretty good, too. Mm -hmm. All right. The Caribbean one's probably basically Caribbean jerk. And then our last one is going to be the habanero. So, go ahead. Three, two, one. There's an afterburn starting to come. But mm -hmm. not as bad as I thought. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I feel it. 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 Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Was it the buffalo one that really got you? Yeah, that's when we had to die. <laughs> that's the one where I started coughing. Yeah, so buffalo so far is the spiciest, I'd say. Caribbean's starting to... One of the things, we're only doing one bite. I'd say a few of these, they got that afterburn. It would build. This Caribbean one would build on you as you used it. Another one, in other words, it's one that I would just nope out of immediately. <laughs> I see, see, got felt it a little bit, but this is it. Mm -mm. This is the moment we've been waiting for. No, I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, I still, I feel that it's... Take a bigger gulp of the milk. Make sure you got it. And see also, the Caribbean is deceitful. Because when you first taste it... To me, all I was getting was the spices. Not like the spi like the spiciness. I was just getting the spices in mm -hmm. it. And then I, like, as soon as you said it's building, I felt it. And I was like, oh, yes, Oh, yeah, yes, I feel it on my tongue still after several sips of milk. So it's, it gets there. It just takes its time. I don't know that Mongo Habanero is going to take its time. <laughs> I so strongly do not want to do this. Don't worry. I'm policing her to make sure she gets a good dip more no that's perfectly fine that is fine no let me let me show them okay this is fine right it's fine please don't do this to me it's fine it's acceptable no okay i don't want to three two one okay Mm -hmm. Wait for it. It's getting there. Uh -huh. Their sauces are deceitful. I will say uh -huh. that. Their spicy sauces take a second. Uh -huh. It's building. It's still mm -hmm. going. Yeah. 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 I'm going to take a sip of milk you can. Uh-huh. It's been, it's bearable. I'm curious who they rank as their hottest, but is I'd say it's the habanero, but I've also just had all the rest. So it's not a clean as much as I'd like to be test in the end of the day. I'm mean, definitely feel it all over my tongue right now. I think I would have felt it more if I hadn't had the Caribbean mm -hmm. right before it. Cause I think the Caribbean was still masking mm -hmm. some of the mangla habanero. I mean I feel it right now. But all raw, none of them are unbearably hot, which Do I like. <laughs> I was surprised. I actually don't mind this manga habanero. I am, um, I will Not say, bad. I'm very proud of myself for trying these 
hot dipping sauces because I normally would not. We wanted to do this because we love Tiger Bites and we wanted to try out all the sauces. I thought it would be a fun video if any time's the time to do a taste test, now would be the time. As he's dipping into that mango habanero, so he's enjoying it. I will not be dipping into the mango habanero, so I am not enjoying it. I'm going to dip into that ranch. Yes. Honestly, yes. That okay. might help you a bit. Let's... It's spicy. It's definitely the spiciest. So that part we got right, which habanero you would assume. I don't think it actually has habanero in it, but it's got spice. It definitely sticks with you. It's still building. I did three dips, so I got a good amount going. Got a lot of burn. Mm -hmm. Maybe I also didn't get it as much because I didn't take as big of a dip, mm -hmm. but I wasn't trying to die. Oh yeah, I mean, like, I feel it still. So, yeah, overall, if you're wanting spicy, do the manga habanero, which you probably would, I'm guessing. But honestly, the Caribbean, it'd do you right, too. Mm -hmm. But the rest of them, not too bad. I'd say Buffalo's the third hottest, mm -hmm. then bourbon, then Korean. Mm, from there, we would have... The oh, rest goodness, are just I not spicy at all. <laughs> steal a piece of chicken. You can steal that one, because that one has some of the... Spiciness. I'm gonna grab some ranch now because I'm um, starting to feel it. I think that for me, I have found at least two that I would go for now. The ranch, I never really thought of having chicken bites with ranch, but that oddly enough doesn't seem like a bad combo. Well, so you know what you're thinking? It's like brie buff, like wings, ranch, but these aren't wings. These are just like the chicken bites. So, I mean, honestly, bites. they're probably basically the same thing. As a boneless wing. But. That, and the orange dip, I didn't mind. I liked no. it. I thought that was good. Um, yeah, I still have some food to finish. But other than that, he, he doesn't. No. This is all gone. He's brave I'm going to eat some more too. Yeah, but that's it. We tasted 11 out of 12. If you guys enjoyed this video, let us know in the comments below. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Some more couple videos. Also, we have a booktube channel, Cuz Books. K-U-Z-B-O-O-K-S. If you want to check out, check us out there. Um, but maybe we'll come back with another seasoning and all 12 of the sauces next time. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and we will see you when we see you. Bye.